What's up, everybody? My name is Jay Bloss, and welcome back to Need for Speed World, otherwise known as Soapbox Race World. Recently, I discovered that there are like multiple different servers to this game, and each one of them is is, is basically its own game. Okay, it's the same map, for the most part the same cars, but it has got a different economy, different way to earn things, it's got cha- some of these have challenges to earn extra things. All of them are different, and I found my favorite one. This server. This server is called Night Riders. It's the closest to being what Need for Speed World was like when it was out. I've already left 54, I've been grinding for the past week when playing this game, and I've just had a blast, and now- I'm back in it, and I'm figuring I'll show you some cars that they added. This server specifically added, and it's unbelievable the amount of cars that they've added to this game so far. For example, this. Not gonna lie, this car handles kind of like garbage, but it's heavy cars, great for team escapes. They got this thing, which is pretty fast. The 720S, which was not an original game either. They added this beast, bro. Like, bro, I would never have thought to ever see this car in the game. This thing is insane. I love this car. This is one of those cars where I wanted to see it in a game, but never got the chance to see it. It's super quick and peppy and easy to control. That the only problem is it's way too light and it flies everywhere when you hit something. Aside from that car that I was just driving, there are quite a few things. And if you go to the car deal over here, go to new. You got the- this wasn't in the game before, believe it or not. Like, I know this is very popular in Forza. This wasn't either. Or this, or this, or uh, this. It just seeing some of these cars are unreal, because this game- Like, look at this! Look at this thing! It's a freaking beast! How have I not bought that yet? I am buying it. But, uh, when I was playing this game, when this game was fully fleshed as a Need for Speed game, it only had, like, max 180 cars, or something like that. Now it's got well over that number. I mean, it's got the DeLorean in here. Dodge Charger, SRT, Hellcat, Pista, all these freaking cars. I mean, some of the, there's even some cars that you would not see in Forza Horizon. Like this, for example. I mean, if we're honest, this looks like a car that came out of Grand Theft Auto. It's not that pretty. I mean, you don't even see these. This is one of my goals to get. I have never seen this in any other racing game. This is the first time I've seen this in a game, and I absolutely would love to drive the hell out of it. It's so different. It's a four-door, not really four-door, it's technically two doors. That's because exactly what it is, but it fits more to two people. Today, we're going to be doing a team escape. It's one of the things I used to do to grind for money and uh, bring up my XP a little bit. That's how I'm actually level 54 right now. One last thing before I go out, though. Let me show you something. So this specific server that I'm on, Knight Riders, yeah, you can actually go to their website and do a one-time purchase of like six bucks and get 20 20 million uh, cash and 5,000 speed boost inside the game and to allow you to buy stuff that you ordinarily want to be able to get like this. This is this was not a thing in the original game either. You can now make any car juggernaut. It's freaking awesome. That's what I did with this car. Now it says Team Escape, but you don't necessarily have to play with a team to play it. Oh god, I was about to hit the arrows like it was freaking Forza Horizon 5. That uh, Boom! Yeah, get up and kill nobody, damn it. Leave me alone, bastards. No, I I can't I can't count how many times I've done this specific team in this game. I've done all of them in this game besides the class S1. Right out! The right outs are damn near unstoppable. Even juggernauts have trouble hitting it. So if they hit you, you're gonna stop dead in your tracks. Ah Unless you hit them like that. Excuse me! Excuse me! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Now at this point, I'm just ramming everybody. So I figured this out when I came back to this game. It's been a long time since I played it, so I never really had to, I had to do play it all over again to remember some things. The more cops you hit, the more damage you cause, the more money you and XP you get at the end of the event. That's that's why I'm being so destructive at the moment. Ah! Okay, that was way too close. Jesus Christ! Knock it over and. Should kill him. Yes, it destroyed their own block. <laughs> Even though I didn't go through it. Okay, there's gonna be a rhino, right? Rhino? No? What the hell? Oh, wait, there's a rhino right here, not over there. Okay. Ah! Okay. Every time. Excuse me! Sorry, that's sorry. Rhino! Destroy you! Oh! Messed that cop up. Woo. Ah! Okay, that was way too close. That's one of those cops that will fly at you at supersonic okay, speeds. Oh my god, there's so many! What the hell was that? Get out of my way! Okay, I, you know what, Scooters, I'm turning on tank mode. It's not actually tank mode, it's called Juggernaut, but still. 
in my swabby tech mode. It puts a, like a thing on the front of your car that makes you damn near indestructible. Or uh, unstoppable is the right word. Oh god! Check it out right now! Just once again, to let you guys know, this game is free. Now, you don't actually have to pay for that little thing, $5.99 thing, to get anywhere. Okay, they, if you go to their website, they have challenges. Jesus Christ. See what I mean by that right now? If you go to their website, they have challenges to allow you to make speed boost and to allow you to make cash. So you don't have to do this. You don't have to sit here and grind all day to make money. There are other ways to do it. And all of it's 100% free. There's no pay to win anymore. Every car in the game, you can buy on your own. And you, you can earn it through challenges as well if it costs speed boost. It's honestly, I wish this is how the game was before. Cause I can't even begin to tell you guys how much money I blew in this game when I was buying speed boost. Because speed boost was a currency you had to buy. And my god, did I just blow, uh, just throw away so much money on that crap. Ah! Oh, thank god, I turned on trigger that. Oh my god. Holy crap! Okay, I hate when I do that so much. It's like you gotta hit him in a sweet spot to make him flip to the air like that. Slingshot! And trigger that! Gonna plow through everything now. Excuse me! Four seconds left of the trigger that! Yes, we got it! Ah! Oh my god, they did not run out before I hit that guy. Okay. Unit, slow down. Code 4. Got him. Why does it always say that? It's almost like I didn't escape. They just caught me. You probably never seen this car or even heard of this. A, I don't even know how to say that. I've been just random, they're like Turlingua. I, I just the best way I could possibly pronounce that. This car was actually only made for Need for Speed World. I don't think I've ever seen it in any other Need for Speed games. I mean, you can tell by the freaking Need for Speed logo. Look at that. I got 89,000 XP. That's with the freaking uh, reputation booster, just to let you know. I should probably turn on a cash at my fire. Okay, another thing I might not use. Okay, I already know this. This video is going to be unusually short because I'm about to end it. And it's all the time I got for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, crash that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.